Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how you can download and install MongoDB server and MongoDB compass in your Windows system. So let's start. So uh, first you have to go to any browser and then you have to search for download MongoDB for Windows. And uh, once you click enter, uh, you can uh, scroll down and check there is an URL uh, from uh, mongodb.com so mongodb community server downloads so just click on that and it will uh, open you a, a download uh, page uh, URL so if you are not getting this page I will paste this URL in the uh, description box also so if you scroll down here you can see mongodb community edition so we have multiple editions enterprise community so we will go with the community edition so here mongodb community edition and here mongodb community server and here if you scroll down you may uh, get uh, here to select the different version so right now it is uh, by default selected the current version uh, if you want any older version you can also select from here so i will go with the current version and here you can select the platform also so if you are using any other platform like debian or uh, something else you can select from here Similarly, uh, the package uh, make it as a MSI only if it is if you are downloading for uh, Windows. So uh, after that, you have to just click on download. So once you click on that, uh, it will uh, download the MongoDB install uh, installer for you. So let it download first, and then we will be back. So now you can see the download has been completed successfully, and uh, we can start the installation. So for that, just go to the downloaded folder, and here in the download section, you will be able to get. It. So now to start the installer, uh, just double click on it. So now you will see a uh, welcome wizard has opened and just click on next. And here it will ask for uh, accepting the terms and conditions. So just accept it and click on next. Now here you will get two options. Either you have to uh, install it completely or, or some custom uh, things you wanted to install. So just uh, uh, click on complete and then uh, it, it will come to this window. Here it is asking for install MongoDB as a service. So if you wanted to install, just keep the keep it selected. I think uh, I would preferably uh, suggest you to keep it selected only. So it will add this, this service name uh, uh, itself. And now you can see there are two things, data directory and log directory. So this is the location where uh, your data will be uh, saved. And this is the location where uh, any log of uh, related to MongoDB will be saved here. So uh, just keep everything as uh, uh, like default selected here and just click on next. Now, once you click on next, here you will get another option uh, whether you wanted to install MongoDB also or not. So, uh, select this also if you wanted to install MongoDB Compass uh, also, and then click on next. So, uh, after that, you will get an install option. So, click on that, and then you can see uh, the installation is getting uh, started. But before that, it will ask uh, you a pop up to allow uh, a system to uh, like install it. So, just click on yes if you got like that. And then you can see uh, it is uh, starting the installation and let it uh, complete first. I'm minimizing other window and uh, it is copying something and installing it. So let it uh, complete first, then uh, I, be, I can be back. So now you can see uh, the download uh, installation has been completed uh, successfully and uh, you can uh, finish it here. And once you finish it, uh, like the MongoDB compass will open it uh, directly. So you can click on start and you will be able to see all the uh, like UI here. But we will check it uh, first. We will check uh, how uh, uh, we can run the script through a command prompt. So for that, you have to just go to uh, uh, any CMD, search for CMD here and open any command prompt. And then here you need to type mongod hyphen hyphen version. But if you type that, you can see uh, it is still showing uh, mongod is not recognized. That means you you are like the path variable uh, environment variable is not set in your system. So you have to first set the environment path variable and then you will be able to see the exact version here and then only uh, MongoDB will work for you. So for that uh, just close this uh, command prompt and then uh, go to the installation location. So you can go inside any drive uh, C drive and here go inside program files and then uh, you will see MongoDB here. Yeah, so go inside MongoDB and inside server 6.0 and bin. So here you have to just copy this path location. And now uh, 
you just go to the search bar and here you have to search for uh, environment variable so you will get an option edit the system environment variable so just click on that and it will open like this and here you have to go inside advanced and then environment variables so click on this and then you will see uh, something like user variable for slash uh, uh, your user and uh, system variable so inside system variable you have to go to scroll down and you will see path is available there so just select this and click on edit and when you click on edit it will show like this so here you have to click on new and here you have to paste the location that you copied so i have pasted it and now click on ok ok again and ok so now you have set the environment variable correctly and now you need to uh, open any new command prompt so again open a command prompt and here uh, search for uh, like type mongod hyphen hyphen version so now you can see uh, the database version is uh, showing correctly so in this way uh, like we can see uh, the installation is success now and uh, now we will see how we can use it uh, using the command line and using the mongod numbers so to start the server we have to run the command uh, mongod and then you have to click enter So you can see uh, once we clicked enter we are getting some exit code 100 that means it is not uh, like completed successfully the server is not started and we are getting some error so if you scroll up uh, this one a little bit you will get the message like db connection is in uh, listening and error is non-existing path this directory so actually it is uh, trying to find out this directory c data uh, inside c drive it is trying to find out this directory but is it, it is unable to create or uh, find it so what we have to do is we have to just manually create a dry, uh, like folder data and a DV inside a C drive. So for that we will go inside the C drive. So just go inside the C drive and then uh, just right click and create a new folder and keep the name of the folder as data. And inside data go inside this and again create another uh, folder here and keep the name as DV. Now since we have created the folder now again go back to the command and run the same thing uh, mongod and click enter so now you can see uh, it is uh, starting the project and i think uh, yeah yeah it is running the server so a uh, server is running now uh, very perfectly but earlier what we used to have is in the previous version uh, mongo uh, there was a command named as mong so if you see uh, there was a command named as mongo earlier so right now uh, this command has been uh, move, uh, removed and uh, it is like the mongo cell has been uh, moved to uh, removed from the current uh, version so we have to install mongo cell separately so install that just go to uh, your browser again and in the new tab you can search for mongo db cell download and you uh, once you search for that you can get the link uh, in the first uh, uh, result so just click on that and go there and here if you scroll down you will get the mongodb sale down so just to scroll down and here select the latest version it should be i think uh, automatically selected and then uh, check the windows uh, 64 bit and here as a zip file then download it so let it download and uh, it is of uh, less mb i think 33 mb only so let it download first then we can check now this download has been uh, completed successfully now go back to your downloads folder and uh, you can extract it here so i'm just extracting it so you can just right click and extract all and use the same location so it is extracting now and we can see it has been extracted so just go inside and uh, you have to just copy this folder or first rename it maybe so i will just rename it to uh, mongo research And copy this folder so copy this one and then go to um, c drive and then go to program files and uh, go inside mongodb so yeah mongodb and uh, inside server 6.0 and here you can paste that uh, uh, file so just paste it here and click on continue 
so once you are done with this uh, you can uh, just go inside this and uh, also inside the beam location and copy this path and you have to add this uh, mongo sh uh, in the uh, environment variable so again open the uh, environment variable and then click on environment variable inside system variable go to the uh, scroll down to the path and click on edit and then new and then uh, paste this uh, location and click on ok again ok and again ok so once you are done with this uh, close the existing uh, i think uh, okay don't close actually this is the server that is running right now so open any other command prompt uh, where we will uh, start the uh, like mongo db cell so here just uh, enter that uh, mongo sh to open the uh, like cell of the mongo so just uh, hit enter after that and now you can see uh, the mongo cell uh, has been started and it is uh, right now inside the test uh, which is a database already created uh, by them so you can use this and uh, now here you can uh, use your uh, like mongodb commands so uh, let me check with the db and it is saying like the currently database uh, used is db similarly we can use the show uh, dbs so it will show all the databases uh, in this uh, and again uh, if we wanted to check all the collections so we can do so collections so right now it is showing uh, no collections available here so it is showing uh, empty so let us create some collection we can do like db dot create collection and then let's say the collection name is demo so we are creating a collection with the name demo and now it is saying uh, ok one that means uh, the, uh, the collection has been created so if we, if we check uh, the collections now so we can uh, enter the command show collections and hit enter then we are getting like uh, this demo collection has been created okay mm -hmm. so how can we create uh, a, a uh, like insert some uh, data insert into this collection so let us uh, try to inserting some data so for that uh, we can use the command dv dot uh, and the collection name that is uh, demo dot and let's uh, insert so uh, what data you wanted to insert let's say we are trying to insert into uh, demo id which is one two three four and demo name demo by beta code about and let's say uh, mongo DB installation. So this is the data that I have inserted inside this collection, demo collection. And if I hit enter now, so it is saying acknowledge true. That means uh, this thing is inserted into the collection. Now, how can we uh, check uh, whether it is available inside this collection or not? So to read that, we, we can use the command DB dot the, the uh, like collection name that is demo that dot and then find. So and then if we hit enter, we, we are able to see this uh, like demo uh, collection details. So we entered this collection right now that is why and that is what we are getting in the response so this is one of the way uh, of using the mongodb cell uh, so for that uh, for to use this, uh, that first you have to start the uh, uh, like mongodb server by using this command uh, mongod command and once it is started then you have to open any uh, another command prompt and here you have to enter the uh, like command as mongo sh so now it, this will open the mongo cell for you so whenever you need this uh, now you can open a new command prompt and enter mongo sh and then write your commands there okay so this is uh, by using the mongo cell now let's see how we can use it uh, through the uh, like uh, gui graphical inter uh, user interface that we have installed and that is uh, nothing but this uh, mongodb compass so here if you open this uh, you will get uh, something like new connection so it is nothing but it, it will connect this uh, like uri uh, so right now it is running at 27017 so it will try to connect with this uh, like uh, local host and just click on this connect and it is now connected to your database so here you can see our uh, test uh, this uh, database is shown here and if you open this uh, the collection that we created right now was demo so it is also shown here and if, if you open here uh, this uh, demo data whichever we entered through the uh, like uh, uh, mongodb cell it is coming here also so here you can use this uh, uh, like uh, front end and here also you can if you wanted to add some data you can add it uh, and modify it so suppose you wanted to modify this data you wanted to uh, then you have to just click on this edit 
it is very easy here to modify the things so now suppose i wanted to add uh, five into this and then you have to just click on update so once you, you are done with this it is uh, getting updated similarly you can create a database here create database and create documents so you can use like this so it is just like a graphical user interface and it is easy to use here so that's all for today and thank you for watching this uh, video uh, hope you are getting uh, some uh, help from uh, my videos please don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe thank you